Hello YouTube, this is my first tutorial as Monkeyfish. Um, I have actually don't think I have ever done another tutorial before this. So basically, in this tutorial what we're going to be basically recreating is, whatever that is, uh, this kind of button logo thingy, which I, I have these as my YouTube logos, um, as my back backgrounds and things like that because I think it looks pretty cool so basically to start this you want to go file new and you want to have your image size on width 400 and height also on 400 uh, yeah and okay let's make that bigger cool uh, so then what you want to do is get the ellipse tool and drag it from the top corner to the opposite corner so you've got a circle there and then you want to go select shrink by 20 20 pixels and then you have a nice little circle there and then you get your gradient tool which then you get colors usually white and black and then you go to tool options and you change the gradient from foreground to background and the shape to radial and then you just play about with this until it works got that wrong yep there we go I'll just play about with that until it looks better yep there we go that looks pretty much like a ball kind of thing then you want to go select shrink 20 pixels and then you want to do the same things before instead of top to bottom you want to go from bottom to top and then it looks like a kind of button thing which looks pretty cool uh, and then you want to make a new layer and call it uh, color because this bit's going to be colored and then you want to go select shrink 20 and then you want to get your gradient tool again and you want to pick the colors you want to have so I'm gonna pick for this uh, for the sake of the video red and make sure that that's how you it, the the white should be basically on the left when it on the gradient because then you can drag it from top and it will look kind of like shining looks more 3d and then you just play about with it until you have it how you want it uh yeah sorry i'm fussy uh okay that looks good right and then you want to go new layer text and so you want to get the text tool which is in the toolbox and then you want to get make it so you just drag it across the entire thing because basically if you don't drag it across the entire thing and then you do filters which we're going to do in a minute it will chop off it will basically mess up the entire picture and it will ruin half of it and it will get rid of some bits like mate they will basically change the picture to the size of this box so that's why you want to have it covering the entire space of it and then for the letter I'll make it T for tutorial and then you want to go do then and then pick whatever font you want I like blade which I got from dafont.com uh, D A F O N T dot com, um, and they have loads of f cool fonts that you can download and put into your bin. Uh, I'll probably make a tutorial of how to get your uh, fonts and also GIMP brushes, which I'll explain later, into GIMP so you can have more than just the standard stuff, which it's all right, but you can get better things. Uh, so then you want to change the size to whatever size you want. I think. For my font, 300 is usually pretty good, and then, yeah, okay, uh, and then you want to go filter, make sure it, that's selected, and then you go filters, alpha to logo, and then alien glow, alien neon, or neon, they're probably the best ones, although glowing hot looks pretty good, uh, I'm going to go with alien neon, because that's what, no, alien glow, no, cancel, sorry. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty cool. Uh, 
yeah but well, I didn't mean to do that so if you want to undo the, the uh, hotkeys for that is control Z and that undoes that undoes it rather than having to go edit undo and stuff which is pretty annoying uh, so you go filters alpha logo alien glow which is what I had and then you have the glow color as I choose white and then you can have the glow size as whatever you want but I pick 150 and there we go we have that which the letter looks pretty cool so you want to go back to your layers in the toolbox and then you go background and you delete the black thing because that's just weird and you don't want that because then you can't see the wall button whatever it is and then you go merge down and merge the two right you have to right click to merge down uh, so that the actual letter the black bit and the white glow around it is part of the same layer and then you go to the move tool and then you drag it to the middle which looks pretty cool there but there we go it's basically done now but what you can do is go to the um, select no you want to get your ellipse tool again like that and you go select shrink but by 40 to make it faster so no, no you want to go select shrink 20 but basically instead of doing 40 before you go 60 and then so basically you have just this bit selected so you can't draw outside of it so then you get if you, you it's done but you don't if you want to you can make it look a bit better with brushes which you can download from the internet and then you can install them into your GIMP like this so you have brushes and then you basically it installs them to here so you have loads of cool brushes and things like I have lightning and arcane stuff and runes and wispy thingies uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this kind of arcane rune thingy uh, make it white and make the opacity on like f around 50 and then you have and then you just put it in and you can have that that looks quite cool uh, you don't have to have that um, you can have uh, these wispy cool thingies like that which doesn't look very good I have to make it a bit bigger with scale and then you have and then you just like splat it on and it looks like it's kind of like got splats and like random glowing lines which look pretty cool so there we go you can have anything you really want and you can change the opacity opacity however you say it to however you would like it and then you're done so basically once you've made this you can have any colors any letter you can even have like just a whole word but I prefer to have just one letter because that's how I do it personally um, then you go file save as uh, tutorial ball slash button thing and then you go you have to you have to do this to make it work on any other websites or uh, anything really because it's at the moment it is still a GIMP file so you want to go select by file type and pick a JPEG uh, pick a JPEG image and you save it to my pictures or wherever you want it uh, and then you have to export here and then you I change the quality to 100 and save so now it is um, in your my pictures folder or wherever you saved it so then you want to go to settings and then you want to find that and you're going to change change picture choose file there we go right at the top perfect did I make that one? yeah I made that one um, and then you can save that save changes and bam there it is cool so now you can 
it's that will fit perfectly there and you can have any background color you want but select the ellipse tool there and then you want to select shrink by 20 so now you now you're holding that right and then you want to go select invert which basically means instead of highlighting that it highlights all the rest of it so now you can do the now you can fill it and you can do that and then you can get your brushes and do whatever you want with it and have any kind of background you want um cool this is uh monkey fish's first tutorial if you liked it could you like subscribe or if you want to like comment and tell me what you thought was good or bad about it so i can like get better at making tutorials um uh, yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video